of all places, the Sonoran Desert dealing with some patchy, dense fog. Live look, Valencia 12th Avenue, our News 4 Tucson Skynet cam. Cool, moist air being trapped in by some warm air about a thousand feet above our heads. Eventually, this fog will burn off, and I think that happens around 8, 9 o'clock this morning. But for the morning rush, if your drive takes you near some of the river basins, low-lying areas, expect visibility down to a quarter mile or less at times. 30s now, low 60s later today with mostly sunny skies prevailing. All in all, it's going to be a gorgeous Monday. It'll just take another hour or two to burn off some of this morning fog. Daytime highs pretty close to where we should be for this time of year, followed up with nighttime lows into the 30s and 40s. Mostly clear skies late tonight. I don't think we'll see this widespread fog developing once again during the overnight hours. Anywhere you see the white and gray, that's where fog is currently blanketing portions of the Sonoran Desert. Down to zero visibility at the airport, one mile visibility, Nogales and Douglas. But notice the placement for this fog. Santa Cruz River Basin, the San Pedro River Basin, the Sulphur Springs Valley, and not shown here, but there is fog blanketing the Rieto River Basin as well. So again, watch out for that reduced visibility. Dense fog advisory continuing through 9 o'clock this morning. Allow yourself plenty of time heading out the door and don't use your high beams, those small water droplets reflecting back your headlights. It makes it harder to see. We have a storm system passing to our north. High pressure off the California and Baja coast. This will slide in over the next couple of days, driving a warming trend. Low 60s this afternoon, low 70s for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Clouds start to increase Wednesday, and that's when we start to see the active weather pattern take shape once again. Thursday, the first of three storm systems possibly moving in. Maybe an isolated shower Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. A break on Friday. Saturday, a better chance of scattered showers, high elevation snow. Models hinting at perhaps a third storm system rolling in Monday and Tuesday of next week. Exact details a little unclear this far out, but the weather pattern trends unsettled starting Thursday and possibly continuing into this time next week.